Uh, you know, like now we are with the, one of the most, how can I say, prominent is the word in English? It's a, a noble band, okay? Singer and guitar player. They're gonna, they're gonna introduce themselves, okay? I'm Margarita Monet and I'm the singer of Edge of Paradise. I'm Dave Bates, I'm the guitar player. Dave. Yep. Okay. Dave. Because I know Margarita. Margarita is easier to. Well, Dave is obviously. Yeah, Dave, Dave's a common name. Yeah, yeah. What is the imagine of the band? We were talking, you know, about the imagine of the band. Mm -hmm. Age of Paradise, okay? So, what is the imagine? Well, the image, it's. Um, I mean, I guess he can draw upon the name, because when we were thinking of the name, we wanted something light and dark, because since I'm a female singer, and the music is very heavy, we wanted to have that contrast in the name. So um, it's based on, you know, the. it has a dark, dark quality in it, but also that mysterious, elusive thing that, you know, paradise is. So we're on the edge of paradise. So it's like also you can tie it into today's world, you know, it's like, well, everybody wants to live in paradise, but, you know, it's like you step in the wrong direction and you'll fall off paradise, like just like that. Yeah, and paradise yeah. is elusive. It's always one step away, but you never get there most of the time. With the name, my thinking was we would have a name that wouldn't lead you in one direction or another and you'd mm -hmm. be forced to maybe uh, check it out, you know what I mean? So it's not... Uh, you know, satanic this or that. It's just something that is open-ended and can mean many things to many people. And if they check out the music, they get what the name means, maybe, maybe right. in their own way, you know? Yeah, because I mean, we don't want to be like an evil metal band, you yeah. know? We want it to be something... Well, evil, evil is something very... It's too, it's too big to describe as yeah. a, just one yeah, thing. You know? exactly. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, we wanted to have that name that can mean a lot of things to different Many people. people yeah. mm -hmm. Now, second part of the interview, we, we just, you know, trade places because I want to feel like a Margarita. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, about the sound of uh, Age of Paradise, mm -hmm. tell me about this. The songs? Sound. Oh, the sound. Well, the sound, um, it's, uh, I guess you can say it's, uh, you know, because we strive to get a new sound out there, you know, so our sound is an industrial chaos that we call it, mm -hmm. which is a mixture of aggressive guitars, heavy keyboards, melodic vocals, a lot of melodies, but all combined in a tasteful, heavy sound aggressive and forget aggressive yeah. oh the industrial part yeah and a lot of it um really we were searching for our own sound and still are and, and it's a artistic goal as you know we want to have that thing that people identify as us you know like uh, all the great bands they have their sound and a lot of that has gotten lost nowadays you know it's like everybody kind of clumps into a core or they're all rushing into we're part of this or part of that and we wanted to go left field and be just part of our own thing incorporate as many elements as we found cool and uh, things that would fit together in a different way than other people might use them and oh, but what is the, the different way I mean I know what you mean okay mm -hmm. I think as a journalist and listening so many music so many songs so many bands during the all these years it's even harder and harder to find something like new yeah, no, yeah. let's let's it's getting everything's been used you know and it's we all use the same 12 notes it's a matter of um how creative you can be with that um you know and and growing up listening to other artists that seeps into what you do and you have to really be cautious of that you know you have to look always to find something that feels right or you know choose a direction and see if if that's something that you can you can open up and explore and maybe uh, you know yield something new turn over a new rock yeah and the funny thing is that you know i mean there's so many subgenres of metal right now there is death metal i mean different cores and but you know it's like all those different subgenres like it all makes it sound the same at the end of the day you know so you can't i don't know like a listener just to metal in general like a normal person wouldn't be able to tell if it's like this core or that core you know so um i think we just and we had a lot of trouble because uh you know a lot of websites they ask you or you know people they ask you what genre you are and um 
we, we can't couldn't really pick so we just you know we started calling ourselves just straight off heavy metal because you know it's our music is based on that classic heavy metal sound yeah, yeah and striving to be you know hopefully to set up a sound that people are definitely going to recognize as being us you know and in all the bands that i like they have this thing you hear them and you know it's them it's not you don't immediately think of oh that's a uh, part of the death core you know doom core or i mean we just yeah, yeah, we don't want to be lumped into the doom core fest or you know <laughs> or anything like that we want to be something that we can create a foundation to build on and uh hopefully the band will find longevity out of that and uh, be able to grow you know hopefully i mean that's the goal as artists and, and that's the clear thing is the goal is to be an artist not to be part of a, a you know a financially stable uh, direction in any core we want to be something that will have longevity on its own own merit you know yeah, and it's challenging because, you know, at the same time, you want to make money with your music, you know, yeah, you, you want, you want it to be the job, you know. but at the same time, you know, if you just follow the trend, and then the trend will end, and your name will end, you know, and if you kind of start your own thing, you know, if it's, even if it's struggle in the beginning, you know, at the end, it's more rewarding because it's something new that you created. Yeah, the funny thing is they used to call it selling out, you know what I mean? Now, yeah. everybody sells out from day one. It's like they... They set their band up and they they go in a t particular direction right out of the gate. I mean, that's like selling out before you got anything to sell. <laughs> so we want to avoid that. That's the big thing with the sound, is to avoid, uh, avoid the pitfalls of, you know, being part of that whole thing, or selling out in any way. Other than compose and being admired for from people, what are the other uh, benefits that have to be in a part, you know, to be in a, in a band? For you. Well, being in a band is is just the way that, I mean, I've this is my life. This is uh, the guitar is something that, uh, you know, as a young kid, that's what I found to be my thing. And, uh, you know, if I, if I had to eat dirt to keep doing it, I guess it's it's part of my blood. So the benefit is getting to do what I like to do and, and what feels right with my life. And that's I get some chicken in the way, right? Yeah, yeah, and that too. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, you know, it, it's definitely fun being in a band, you know, there's a lot of tough sides to it, but the good stuff is really good, and the, the downsides are, obviously we don't want to talk about those, <laughs> let's put those, in, let's put those uh, in the past. <laughs> you, you, you don't like chicks, right? No. Uh, okay, no, no, just in, you know, who knows? Yeah, you never know. You're open to say, you know, it's yeah. a free country. Yeah. What about there's you? No, there's nothing wrong with that. You know? <laughs> no. It would be good, right? Yeah, for for yeah, us, yeah. you know, two chicks, yeah. two girls. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. No, for me, I mean, it's really rewarding because I moved out here to be an actress. And, uh, you know, like try to go in that direction you know you sit around a lot and you wait around till somebody else gives you a chance where when you're in the band you know it kind of it, you know it, i mean it, it's uh, basically everything's up to you because every day you're creating something and you're growing and you're going you know going towards your goal and nobody can really stop you you know and i mean uh, and any i mean and acting or any other profession where you have to get that role and the director has to you know choose you or something like that you know unless you're creating your own play which is a different story but you know when you're in a band and you're writing music it's just so much more rewarding and i mean and the whole thing about the energy of the live show you know i mean you can't even explain that because it's just it feels so awesome to be on stage and people are like right there with you, you know, the whole time. And you, yeah, the, the biggest reward definitely is the creative process in, in any art form. And if you're an artist, then that's something you, you know because you're there and you do it. But mm -hmm. when you when you have an idea and you're able to take that idea and you know and create it and watch that thing grow into into something that you had uh, envisioned as just an idea from the start. I yeah, mean, and then the to see that people. Me respond to it and you know to see what it, they yeah. take from it you know that's even you know it's really cool and well the future of the band changing the subject well we we just broke up so. <laughs> okay <laughs> we are over. No future. <laughs> uh now the, the future looks good i mean it's it's building really fast um 
Yeah, we've only been together less than a year. I mean, we'll celebrate our one year anniversary. February. One year, and you already have a CD. Yeah. yeah. Well, we started. Um, it, it's kind of a long story. I'll break it. I'll make it a little bit shorter. But I had another band. Um, it was called Bleed with Robin McCauley, and uh, oh. oddly enough, Robin got us the gig in Survivor, singing for Survivor. Yes. And um, shortly after that, I met Margarita. She was working with a producer here. And they needed a guitar player, so I happened to be in the right place at the right time. They contacted me to play guitar. Um, we met that way. I happened to be in need of a singer, and so very quickly we had songs right out of the gate, and uh, were able to start moving. And she's a hard worker, and uh, you know I have a goal in mind, and we wanted to get there as fast as possible. Um, and we needed a foundation. We needed a foundation that established that this is going to be a band. So we knew we had to get the CD done. So. We spent uh, from the beginning of February to, uh, was it, how long did it take? About six months. Yeah, I mean, 24-7. We did, yeah. we worked I mean, on it day and night. Everything kind of fell into that. place because, I mean, right away we knew that we wanted to have this band and wanted to get it as far as it can go. So, I mean, you know, working on it was, it was a lot of fun. And, I mean, time goes by so fast, especially when you work on one yeah. thing, you know. And we knew right away because she was already working and, and working on her song with the producer that it's a lot of work. And I've been doing this for a long time. And going into it, we knew that this yeah, is a lot of work hard. so let's just jump in there and get moving on this as fast as possible the longer you wait the harder it is you if we decided to wait and get together once a week or twice a week we'd never get there and it would be an elusive goal that would uh, maybe lose its steam along the way so we wanted to jump in and capitalize on the momentum of um, you know the passion of let's let's do this thing you know what I mean so we jumped on and we just did it 24-7 till the CD was done and we haven't stopped now. We, we hit right after the CD came out, we started promoting, playing shows here and there, got the live band together and that's had a couple of changes. Mm -hmm. So it's a pretty mammoth thing. I mean it's a big, yes. it's a big ordeal but she's a hard worker and uh, you know we kind of help I each other out. Not, but you know I have to take it. <laughs> I do all the work actually. I was okay, just, uh, <laughs> guys a message to the people, uh, how you can get the CD, yeah. okay? Yeah. Well, you can go to our website, which is edgeofparadiseband.com. And from then on, you can click all the links that you like. I mean, you can get it on iTunes, Amazon, our website, and get the physical CD, because those are cool. Yeah, get the real CD. Yeah. I mean, you know, downloads, everybody knows it's easy, and uh, you get immediate gratification. But there's nothing like having a real CD, and uh, why not have it in your hand? You know, yeah, you can look yeah. at the pictures, Maybe you can feel we'll it, you can it taste vinyl. it. Yeah, That'd the vinyl's cool. coming. <laughs> I just got to figure that out. But um, just get the real CD. Let's get back to that. Dave will send you his picture. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all kinds Take of it? Like, Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you have to pay a little extra for that, but um, <laughs> we can make that happen. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for the interview. Uh, all right, thank thanks you. a lot. It was a pleasure, pleasure talking. <laughs>